Saif Abu Bakr is the commander of an elite free Syrian army unit. The FSA, once the pride of the Syrian opposition, is backed by Turkey, the US, and many European and Gulf countries. It has played crucial roles in recent military operations against ISIL in northern Syria. But it has been weakened by divisions and is outnumbered by rival groups. Syria's opposition is now turning to commanders like Abu Bakr from the Al Hamza Brigade to unite all the armed groups and build a new army. We will have a transitional authority, a new army that will run the country when Bashar al-Assad is evicted of power, but we need weapons and logistical support. The Syrian opposition is expected to appoint a minister of defense and chief of staff. But rebel commanders are yet to overcome differences about the structure of the new army and the groups that will be allowed to join. The FSA has disintegrated into disparate factions. Mohammed al Muhammad commands a Free Syrian Army unit in Kfarlaha, an area in Homs besieged by government forces. Some factions have acted selfishly and never cared about the others. They store weapons but never share them with those constantly on the front lines. This has created resentment among many factions. Other commanders like Ayman Shaban blame the opposition's main regional backers for undermining the FSA. It's no secret our backers are the ones who dictate when and where to start a fight. They are manipulating the rebels. Had it not been for their interference, we would have toppled Assad a long time ago. Powerful armed factions like Jaysh al-Islam and Hayat Tahrir al-Sham a coalition led by a former Al-Qaeda affiliate won't be part of the new army. The two operate independently and reject handing over their territory to the FSA. The rebels may not be able to stand against the Syrian army which has the support of Russia and Iran, but there is still this feeling among opposition commanders that reversing Assad's military gains is never too late. They remain confident that the fight is far from over and that with international support, they may be able to run Syria in the future. Hashim Al-Bara, Al-Jazeera, Gaziantep.